Because if you are going there to pursue something, it is fine. But you are going there to make dollars and send it back, please don't waste your life like that. Unfortunately, one ingredient that is really weak in India right now is integrity. If you think you have integrity, please stay in India. We don't want one more to escape. Sadhguru, I belong to land of five rivers and now wherever I go there, for all the ab able people I see, everyone dreams of going to land of maple leaf right now, that we call it Canada. <laughs> and when I interact with them, they have the one motive, we'll go there, we will earn in dollars and send back and build, adopt one of the village, build roads, all hospitals, schools, what is harm in it? Then I see soldiers, farmers, social activists, teachers who are working at grassroots level. So if I get opportunity, because in IIT we'll, we will get some good opportunity to go abroad and earn Canadian dollars or work here and whatever we can contribute in the tax, that is quite minuscule as compared to the funding which we get from abroad. Which route should I take? Oh. <laughs> I'm not saying you should not go abroad. If you think you're going to learn something better there, acquire some more skills, then you can gather here. If there are possibilities or even if you're going to work there, but don't think in terms of you'll earn dollars, then come back and build your village. That's a long shot. Actually, what we need in this country is not necessarily dollars. What we need in this country is uh, a corruption-free, clear, focused and dedicated people. That's what we're missing. <laughs> money is there. We don't really need money from outside really. It is just that we are constantly busy working against each other at so many levels, <laughs> okay? Our energies are simply spent throwing things at each other all the time. If you don't understand what I'm saying, just turn on one of the English news channels and watch in the evening. How much energy is simply wasted, simply saying rubbish against each other endlessly. <laughs> and slowly we are losing all sense of civilization in this argument. We, <laughs> we think we are debating. No, we are just shouting abuses at each other and think we are debating. A debate means to explore, to use two brains instead of one to explore something, that is a debate. Not simply throwing things at each other is not debate. We can as well, th as well throw stones at each other, instead of hurling abuses, at least it'll end soon <laughs> So this is going on, immense waste of energy, no cleanliness, when I say no cleanliness, Hmm, I mean, a whole lot of people are simply innocent of integrity. They're not corrupt, they're just innocent of integrity, they don't know what it is. Because we are a nation who are not controlled by any moral code, nobody told us, thou shall not do this or that, nobody told us. But in this culture, we managed ourselves, by constantly stirring up human consciousness in every generation. Well, you also come from the land of gurus, because the idea is to stir up human consciousness rather than give you a set of morals that to follow. Because morals can be subverted by anybody, but when it arises within you, it's a natural expression of who you are. So, this has been the process. But over a period of time, because of invasions and occupations, this system of transmitting consciousness or invigorating human consciousness, those systems have largely collapsed. So this process of what shall I do, should I go there and send dollars, if you are going there to pursue something, it is fine. If you think there is some form of uh, skill or education or knowledge, or even a profession which is not available here, you want to go there, it is fine. But you are going there to make dollars and send it back, please don't waste your life like that. There is so much to be done here. If you have integrity, 
<laughs> why I'm focusing on integrity is this has been a scarce thing. Whether it is politics or any profession, including spirituality, unfortunately, one ingredient that is really weak in India right now is integrity. If you think you have integrity, please stay in India. We don't want one more to escape. I will say. <laughs>